during a prenatal ultrasound and doppler study examination of the umbilical cord cannot be overemphasized umbilical cord plays an important role in fetal health and development the umbilical cord connects the fetus to the placenta through the chorionic plate normal length of umbilical cord ranges from 30 to 100 cm the average length being 55 cm normal diameter of the umbilical cord is 1.5 to 2 cm umbilical cord is composed of two arteries and one vein it is surrounded by a gelatinous stroma called bottle jelly it is covered by a single layer of amnion Ideally the umbilical vessels must be visualized on power up like examination on long axis view of the normal three vessel umbilical cord the two arteries can be seen wrapping around the vein contrary to the name the umbilical arteries carry deoxygenated blood from the uterus to the placenta the umbilical vein carries oxygenated blood to the fetus it is connected with the left portal vein in the fetal liver the arteries traverse in a helical course surrounding the umbilical vein until reaching the placenta there are about 40 helical turns this results in coiled appearance that protects the cord by adding strength and resisting compression of the vessels on ultrasound examination of the fetus, the pelvis the two umbilical arteries course lateral to the bladder and are continuous with iliac arteries on short axis view the two arteries are seen lying oblique to the vein giving a characteristic and diagnostic mickey mouse sign the two arteries represent mickey's ears and the vein representing mickey's face The diameter of the umbilical vein is twice that of the umbilical arteries. Wharton's jelly appears hypoechoic, cushioning the vessels. It provides mechanical protection against compression. Loss or reduction in jelly may cause cord compression, but in normal anatomy it is plentiful and uniform. In normal cord insertion, the umbilical cord inserts at or near the center of the placenta. In the fetus, it enters at the umbilicus. The ultrasound image shows a normal central cord insertion. It must be assessed with color Doppler to track fetal vessels. Insertion of umbilical cord to the fetus must be examined. Follow the vessels cranially to ensure normal abdominal closure. This helps differentiate from omphalocele or gastroschisis. Average coiling index is 0.2 coils per centimeter. Hypocoiled or hypercoiled cords may indicate fetal stress, but normal cord pattern is physiologic and protective. Color Doppler of umbilical arteries is very important for fetal health especially for diagnosis of fetal growth restriction umbilical arteries demonstrate high diastolic flow which is placental resistance dependent and low resistance waveform umbilical veins show continuous non pulsatile flow pulsatile umbilical vein flow indicates fetal compromise 